Hey guys, this is a very quick recipe for some tofu. This is a firm tofu. And I actually bought it with juice and put it in the freezer. I just chucked it in the freezer as is. Took it out, squeezed the water out and it's good to go. A lot of people put books and houses and cars and stuff on top of tofu. I just squeeze it out, leave a bit of moisture in there. I cook it out anyway. I'm going to be frying it, so if you are frying it, do be careful if you're not sure what you're doing and make sure you do get out as much liquid as possible because it can spit. But play around with it, you don't have to do all that craziness. Sometimes you can just cook it straight from the pack. Anyhow, so yeah, I've just defrosted it, squeezed out the moisture, and I find as well, when you freeze it, you get a lot more of a spongy texture from it. But anyhow, I'm yapping on. So all I'm going to do is coat this in flour, fry it, and then put a coating on there, but I'll show you. I'm just going to add some plain flour to that bowl. There's no measurements, you just judge it based on how much tofu you're cooking. And it's nice and simple. I do like my lazy meals. That's the thing, you can make these meals as simple as anything, plate them up, people think you spent hours on it, but it takes no time at all bit of Himalayan salt don't come out, you have to shake it to get it out and we'll just season it slightly then I'm going to add some tandoori masala you can use any base spice you want, you don't even have to use it, I just like that it adds a little bit more of a dimension to it turmeric's fine, just even salt and pepper is great to be honest, I just put in because the first thing was to hand. So you just mix that through. Then all I'm going to do is get it out of the way. When I'm cooking, I use 100 plates and bowls. So I spend as much time washing up as I do cooking. So all I'm going to do is put the flour in there. You can do it in a small bowl, it's just for display purposes. Spread it out a bit. And you're simply going to pop your tofu in there and coat all the sides. You don't need to put it in any liquid or anything beforehand. Because it's still moist, the flour sticks to it nicely. So I'm going to quickly get all those coated then we can move on to the frying stage. If you wanted to make life easier for yourself, you could just do it all in a plastic bag, put the flour seasoning in a bag, put the tofu in, shake it up, all done. But I'd just like to show you guys how I do it so you can see for yourself. Anyhow, your hands do get all sticky, so I'm going to go and clean up, and then I'm going to show you the next step. Okay, guys, we are frying. I've got a new pan and a new hob, so I'm trying to get used to using this, so you'll have to bear with me. And also, I need to get a few pans because it's an induction hob. So this one is really too big, but it'll do for now. So oops, all we're doing is placing the coated tofu in the oil. It's at a medium to high heat, we're just crisping the edges and browning off the flour. And as you know, be careful when you're doing this and make sure that you've got the excess water out of the tofu, otherwise it can end up splattering on you. The good thing about this pan is that I can cook it all in one go rather than do it in different batches. So you won't spend forever in the kitchen frying batches of this. And as I said, it's more of a treat because you can't be frying your food all the time, but it does taste nice, so every now and again. And don't move them around, you just want them to fry nicely on one side and flip them over. As they cook, 
I just take them out and you can put them on kitchen towel but I just put it in a strainer over a bowl same thing okay so the frying's over and now for the really really hard part the sauce you get a bottle of this you get a bottle of that or any other sauce you like and you pour it in a bowl spill it everywhere and you just need enough to coat however much tofu you use I like mine with a bit of a kick you stir that around you take your drained tofu which is cooled slightly pop it in the bowl and you mix it around I might add a bit more sauce to this I'm going to add a tiny bit of my older sauce, sorry, it is original Caribbean barbecue sauce and it's by Levi Roots I brought it once because I was making it mill but I wanted my side spicy and my son's not so spicy so I brought this for his part of the mill but he still found it a bit spicier, it's not spicy at all mix it through and you can use whatever sauce you fancy if you want to do tomato ketchup go for it yeah, it's all nice and mixed through and it's that simple let me grab a bit and show you so you've got your nice crispy coating let's do a little zoom when it gets in focus yeah so you've got your nice crispy coating and then it soaks up that nice sauce so you've got the sriracha sauce and the barbecue sauce whatever you choose pop it open and it's nice and fluffy inside crispy on the out delicious